Hello everyone, welcome to Martin Outside. As you know, I've given myself the challenge to see if I can prepare five backpacking dinners for the price of one commercially produced meal. The meal I picked was $11.99, which might sound a bit pricey, but it's really not. Some of these commercially produced meals go as high as $13 or $14. So I tried to find something that was in the middle. And I came up with one that was $11.99. Now I'm going to see if I can actually, in my own kitchen, produce five dinners for five, well, five dinners for $11.99. Before I actually start cooking anything, I'd like to take you through my process. It's nothing complicated. In fact, I keep it very simple. I layer it. Think of it almost like you would layer yourself for a winter hiking trip. We have a base layer. Then we have mid layers, we have mittens, hats. I'm going to take you through that process. I'm going to show you the foods that I dehydrate, foods that I buy from the store that don't need to be hydrated. You can just add hot water to and they'll re reconstitute. And then there's foods I buy that are already dehydrated. I'll show you how I can use some of these ingredients to mix them together and use them in multiple meals. So everybody, let's get to the kitchen and get started. Let's start by taking a look at our base layer. As you can see here, I have ramen noodles, nor side rice, some pasta, some regular white rice, and mashed potatoes, four cheese mashed potatoes to be specific. The ramen reconstitutes very easily just by adding some hot water to it. The nors has two purposes. It comes seasoned, has some dehydrated vegetables in it, so that, we'll get to that later, how I'm going to work with that. But again, no fancy cooking. Just add hot water to it, let it sit for 10 minutes, 15 minutes at the most, and it's ready to eat. The shells and the white rice will be dehydrated, and we'll get to how to do that, to that process. And with the four cheese mashed potatoes, just like the north side dish, you're getting two in one here. You're getting something that you can rehydrate very easily and has cheese flavor in it. Our next layer will be vegetables. You can see here I have some frozen peppers and onions, frozen mixed vegetables, and some canned kidney beans. These will all be dehydrated. Now before I go any further, I just want to point out that with everything I'm doing here, for the most part, there are pre-dehydrated options. You do not need a dehydrator. If you go online, you can find companies, businesses that sell peppers and onion mixes already dehydrated mixed vegetables, stew mix, stew vegetables. There's a whole variety that you can find online, including dehydrated beans. And of course, let's not forget, you can dehydrate fresh vegetables. For the next layer, I'll call that my protein layer. You can use meat. I have chicken, I, canned chicken has worked well for me in the past. I dehydrate it, just have to rinse it and pull the fat off. Not much fat in a canned chicken, just a little bit. You don't want any fat when you're dehydrating. Or what I've used the last two years is I have this textured vegetable protein mix. This is a beef flavored textured vegetable protein. And it works great. I really enjoy it and it's all about the seasoning. I don't notice the difference. I just like that it's easier than trying to dehydrate chopped meat. You don't have to worry about the fat going rancid when you're out there for days at a time. Also, what I've done in the past, bacon bits work well with this. There's a number of ways you can go about adding your meat protein or vegetable textured protein. And just like with the vegetables, if you go online, you can find a number of options. Now we'll move on to the sauce layer. Just a can or jar of pasta sauce can easily be dehydrated. You get it to, its, when you're, to where it's brittle. You can put it into a food processor and I'll show that. In, in a later video when I get into my pri my pasta meals. There's peanut powder, peanuts that you can chop up, salsa that can be dehydrated. These are all things I'm going to show you how to do when we get into making the individual meals. Now their approach to sauces are condiment packages. We find them all the time. I have soy sauce, duck sauce, sriracha sauce. I even have barbecue sauce. Sweet and sour, there's another approach. 
I'm a bit of a condiment bandit. When I see an opportunity to snatch up some extra condiments, I see an opportunity to spice up my backpacking meals. And our final layer are the spices. You could take some spices from your home cabinets and sprinkle them in there when you after you assemble your meal, or again, be the condiment bandit that I am. I've had some help on these. Special K has been able to pick a few of these up along the way that I can add into my meals. We'll start our dehydrating with our base layer. The only part of the base layer we're dehydrating for the meals I'm cooking for this challenge will be our pasta. I've picked these small shell pastas. Small and thin is always better. The directions call for it to be cooked eight to 10 minutes. So I'm gonna cook it for 10 minutes. I'm gonna boil it for 10 minutes. Then we're going to cool it off, almost like blanching, and then stick it in a dehydrator. I like to give the pasta a little stir after I've poured it in. I have four portions here. So this will give us our base layer for four pasta portions. And I'm gonna rinse my pasta. I'm spreading it out on the trays. You want to spread it nice and evenly. You want to go through it to make sure you can separate some of the ones that are stuck together so they dehydrate properly and evenly. I've decided I'm only going to dehydrate two portions and I'm considering one cup of cooked pasta to be a portion. And I'll save the rest for lunch the next day or two, for the next day or two. The pasta's finished dehydrating. I've put it in a container. There's two portions in this container. And we're just gonna put this to the side until we're ready to make our pasta meals. I'm ready to start dehydrating my mixed vegetables. And these are just frozen vegetables. There's four portions in here. I'm gonna be making two different types of meals out of this, two of one meal and two of the other. In the second tray, the top tray here, I've got some more mixed vegetables and some green onions, some fresh green onions that I cut up. I should have mentioned this with the pasta, but this is very key when you're dehydrating. Make sure everything is spread out. Air, make sure air can move through there. Air is really important. And what I'll do probably in an hour or so or two hours, once things warm up, I'll spread them out a little more just to make sure everything can dry evenly. And I'm gonna dry these at 135 degrees. So our mixed vegetables are now dried. Move those into a container. And you can see just like with the pasta, doesn't look like much. That doesn't look like four servings, but trust me, it is. I've made the mistake of looking at my dehydrated food and thinking, well, that doesn't look like much and pouring more into the bag and just having a meal that's just way too big. Now we're going to dehydrate the peppers and the onions. And just like with the mixed vegetables, 135 degrees. As far as the time goes, I start checking them after four hours. Now that the peppers and onions have been dehydrated, it's time to move those into, their, into containers, put them aside, and wait till we're ready to assemble our pasta meals. So what I have here is my chicken. This is two cans of chicken. And according to the labels, it's supposed to be seven and a half servings. So we'll see how that works out. Like I said, don't be deceived by how small it looks once it's been dehydrated. But the key here with dehydrating the chicken is you wanna break it up into smaller pieces so it dehydrates nice and even. Big pieces aren't going to dehydrate as even. You run the risk of there being moisture and eventually going bad and running the risk of a possibility of getting really sick out on the trail. And we'll dehydrate this for four to six hours seems to do the trick at 155 degrees. And there's the chicken. Chicken's all finished now. Nice and crumbly, no residue on it, which means we did a good job of washing the fat off. And we'll let this cool off and we'll package this up and put it to the side. And now onto our final stage here, the final layer of our cooking system. And that's our pasta sauce. There'll be other sauces we're using, but the only sauce we're dehydrating this year for our meals will be the pasta sauce. I have roughly three, maybe four servings in here. Two of them will be used for the challenge. The other two will be put aside for other meals I'll be using on backpacking trips this year. We dehydrate this at about 135 degrees. After two hours, I'll give it a check. We want this to get brittle to where it like breaks in half. And then I'll show you what step we take after that. 
Okay, our spaghetti sauce is finished drying. I use parchment paper. It just makes cleanup a lot easier. I use these trays, but I also use the parchment paper because I like to flip it over midway through the drying process as well. And you can see it's kind of brittle. Now let's take it to the next step here. I'm gonna grind it up into a powder by breaking it up and putting it in here and then use my food processor. So let's grind it up and see what it looks like. So this should be, I'm gonna guess this is three servings. I know I measured it out to be a little over two, but I found that I can add a, two servings. I can usually get three out of it and have a nice, nice rich sauce. Let's take a look now that we've put it through the food processor. You can see we got a powder in there. Not much, right? All that sauce ground down to just a couple teaspoons of tomato powder. And just like with all the other ingredients that I used in this video, they can be purchased commercially online already dehydrated. That was exhausting. Wow, did a lot of dehydrating. 24 hours straight, literally I timed it. I started at four o'clock in the afternoon and I finished at actually about 10 after four the next day. I have my pasta, I have some mixed vegetables, tomato sauce, all powdered up now, my chicken and peppers and onions. Now what I'm gonna do over the next few weeks is I'm going to take what I've dehydrated here and I'm gonna mix it with all these other things. My textured vegetable protein, mashed potatoes, ramen noodles, north side, just these basic items here. I'm gonna take all of this, mix it together, and I'm going to make five backpacking meals for the cost of one commercially produced meal. Five of them, and it's gonna cost me less than $11.99. And you're also going to see how for that price, I'm gonna have variety. I'll have not at least four, maybe five different types of meals. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss out. Remember, you have to hit the notification button and subscribe. Have a great day. Get outside, have some fun, and be safe.